but the damage to our national security also occurred down at the tactical or operational level. I'll cite four examples I heard about during my tenure. First, some U.S. flag rank officers maintained that the first and second identifiable causes of U.S. combat deaths in Iraq, as judged by their effectiveness in recruiting insurgent fighters into combat, are respectively the symbols of Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo. And there are others who are convinced that the proximate cause of Abu Ghraib was the legal advice authorizing abusive treatment of detainees that issued from the Department of Justice's Office of Legal Counsel in 2002. Second, some allied nations reportedly hesitated to participate in combat operations if there was the possibility that captured individuals could be abused by U.S. forces. Third, some allied nations have refused to train with us in joint detainee capture and handling operations because of concerns about U.S. detainee policies. And fourth, senior NATO officers in Afghanistan are reported to have left the room when issues of detainee treatment were raised by U.S. officials out of fear that they could become complicit in any abuse. Mr. Chairman, Albert Camus cautioned nations fighting for their values against selecting those weapons whose very use would destroy those values. In this war on terror, the United States is fighting for our values, and cruelty is such a weapon. Thank you.